You can see the four of us, we are here, not at Bombers of Kenya, where the result is going to be announced because of the opaque nature of how this face has been handled. We therefore cannot take ownership on the results that is going to be announced. However, we have an open door that people can go to court. And because of the same, we urge Kenyans to be peaceful because the rule of the law is going to prevail. Thank you. I said because of the opaque nature of this last phase of the general election and we are not able to take ownership of the results that will be announced. We are going to give a comprehensive statement but this is from us, the four of us and again we urge Kenyans to keep calm. There is an open door that people can go to court and the rule of law is going to prevail. Thank you. Commission. What do you mean by people can go to court? These are the forms 34A have not been verified by the Azimio. What is not happening? Can you clarify on that? We have said. Have you just come? Commissioner. 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 A recap because we are not going to take questions. Agreed. We will give a comprehensive detail of today's. When, I have when, said. When is that likely to be? They want to recap. There are people who missed. Yes, yes. We are saying we have up the standards of election in this country. We have step by step faced the challenges that have been there. At the same time, we have ensured that things are running despite everything else. Now, we are not at Bombers of Kenya because we cannot take ownership of the results that is going to be announced because of the opaque nature which these results have been handled. We'll give details of this opaque nature very soon. Why are you doing this now? Why are you doing this now? Yeah, so that uh, address coming from the Serena Hotel here in Nairobi, a big surprise, shock, as a clear division is coming out there from the IEBC commissioners, four of them having, uh, you know, left the bombers of Kenya, addressing the media from the Serena Hotel, uh, saying that they do not wish to enjoin themselves in the final phase, that is the announcement of the presidential election results that's about to take place at the Bombers of Kenya. We see that the presidential election returning officer, Wafula Chebukati, has already arrived at the Bombers of Kenya, then presuming that the announcement should proceed as the commission had earlier announced, but of course noting uh, that the four commissioners who have chosen not to enjoin themselves in this phase are uh, quoting their 
uh, Cherera saying that there was an opaque nature in how the final phase was handled. Uh, she hasn't been clear in exactly how opaque, what was not open to all the commissioners. She has not been clear on that. She was clear that she's not taking questions, but that she will give a statement a little later on. Of course, this, of course, this uh, particular uh, event happening right now, this development, uh, just shocking uh, many Kenyans, if not all of us, no one saw this one coming. Uh, but we are still training our eyes at uh, the Bomas of Kenya, where the announcement is set to be made. Of course, um, you can already anticipate that this announcement by a section of the IBC commissioners, of course, sending the whole process into disarray. What will it mean? A lot of questions to get from, uh, to set to uh, legal experts. But of course, there are legal mechanisms that have been provided in the constitution of anybody who uh, contests uh, the presidential election results can go through and seek legal redress. This is very clear in the constitution. Commissioner Cherera there also saying the same, asking Kenyans to remain peaceful because there is a legal procedure that is set out that we anticipate uh, whoever then is not agreeing with what is going to be announced any moment from now then can follow that particular uh, procedure and of course uh, more questions than answers right now uh, and of course for all of us even as we on the newsroom uh, continue to get information of what exactly is the bone of contention all that has been said by the four commissioners who have uh, you know set out saying they're not participating is at the last phase was opaque what was opaque what was not put on the table what did the other commissioners uh, you know see that they did not these are questions uh, that they we will be seeking uh, to have answered but it appears that the process continues uh, at the bombers of kenya so many guests uh, seem to have left we know for sure uh, that some diplomats and some uh, ambassadors have already left uh, the bombers of Kenya. Remember, the initial announcement was to be made at two at 3 p.m. That was then moved to 4 p.m. And until now, that hasn't happened. We see a lot happening there. Ca a bit of chaos at the bombers of Kenya. Of course, understandably, following what has just happened, uh, you know, the IEBC not standing together in this very critical moment of announcing the results of the presidential election a very critical development right there but it seems not to be stopping the announcement anyway so all kenyans are curious as to whom will be announced by wafula chebukati as the fifth president of kenya as by uh, the form that he will be having there form 34d which is the official certificate that will be issued uh, to the president elect and of course uh, important to see how this will happen to remember uh, as in the constitution whoever will contest uh, or whoever is not uh, content with the election results the presidential election results